Paula Mariner and I have been doing our reading on ESPNFC.com. And Marys, you would have seen the article that says Jose Mourinho's success or failure as a manager depends on what's going on with him at Manchester United. Now, if we have a look at all of the stuff Jose Mourinho has won, I mean, he's won 24 major trophies as a manager from Portugal to England to Italy to Spain, Maros. So do you think people will just forget about all of this? No. If he doesn't raise Man United back to the glory days? Look, um, he's had some massive jobs in, in world football. Real Madrid and Ma Manchester United. As far as the, the English press and, and to a certain degree the world press, as far as the Manchester United's appeal, it is global. There's no two ways about it. And every single thing that he does, every decision that he makes, you know, whatever it is in training or on, on game day, he's under the microscope. You know, you can talk about the, the type of football that he plays. At Inter, he was sort of parking the bus. He's done that now and again when United have, have played certain games. But he gets results and that's what fans want, that's what board of directors and chairman they want. Now then, he will be judged on what he does in England, I mean it's it's just just a fact. I mean when you're the guy... But judged a bit more harshly I feel at like Man United, what is it about Man United that everyone seems because to of the, be judging the, him so because much? Because of the global appeal, mm -hmm. Manchester United, oh, he's followed a couple of man... Well, you had Sir, Sir Alex Ferguson. Sir Alex Ferguson had the best teams, hands down. Yeah. The type of football that they played. Even even if you were the staunchest of, of Man United haters, you loved the way that they played. Yourself included. Ma absolutely myself included, because he put great teams together and played fantastic football. Now, fans would like to see that week in, week out. But we know that as, as teams evolve and progress, you know, you've not quite got that type of player, so you've got to play... Is this the biggest club you think he's managed? Well, in I mean, terms of the appeal around the world? I mean, it's, it's hard to go against Real Madrid, but uh, as an Englishman, you know, everything points to, to Manchester United. It, it just says, and, and that's purely and simple, I think, because of what Fergie did to the brand. I mean, they, they, they became a global brand when Sky, when Sky took over and Fergie turned them into this, this mega football club, you know, with Beckham, with Ronaldo, with these fantastic names of world football, Eric Cantona, you know, rejigging re the team. There's, there is a lot to, 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 for him to live up to. Mm -hmm. And I think at the moment, he is in a bit of a transition. You can see he's, he's dipping his toe in the transfer market in January, so he's not particularly happy with the squad. So yes, he's, he's, he's going to get judged. And, and because of this global appeal of Manchester United, He's had, a, he's had a fantastic career as a manager, mm -hmm. but whether this is going to be the defining moment of Jose Mourinho's career, I don't think so. But it, it just comes with the territory. All right, thanks so much to Paul Mariner then. So Jose Mourinho, I don't think we'll forget his legacy and what he's no. done if he fails at Man United, but it will be quite the badge of honour to have on his resume if he does bring them back to the top.